Okay, I'm going to give you some good rules, though. I think. I know in Unity we come to explore and ask questions, and we want to find our own way. We really don't like a whole lot of rules. But these rules that I've found are called home rules, and they would apply to your home at home, but they might also some apply here. So it says if you sleep on it, make it up. If you wear it, hang it up. If you eat off it, clean it up. If you open it, close it. Now, you wouldn't think that somebody growing up would have such a problem with this. But I was a person who used to pull out drawers and then walk away and leave it. I think Gal has me pretty much trained. <laughs> if you empty it, fill it up. If it rings, answer it. If it howls, feed it. <laughs> if it cries, love it. Just love it. So I'm finding that rules, well, Jesus talked about them, didn't he? And he said that there were too many rules in religion. That rules were the letter of the law and we needed to have the spirit. And so he gave us a new way. He said, I didn't come to do away with the old way, the old law, but I came to give you something to add to that that will make it all different, that will lift it. And so I came, he said, to give you a way of love, a way of the heart, spirituality, if you will. We don't need any more religion with rules. We need a way of the heart. So here... Because we are a spiritual community, and it isn't just us here. There are communities all across this land that talk about caring for each other, loving each other, supporting, encouraging. All these things is what a community does. So when we come together as a spiritual community, we come together knowing that we are supporting one another no matter where we are individually in our spiritual growth. And we come together never to be criticized, not to be corrected, but to be connected. That is the purpose of a spiritual community, to be connected. A spiritual community is a sacred thing. It's a precious thing to people. And today, when we celebrate our new members, I know they feel that way. I heard many comments at our uh, supper on Friday night, and so I know that there is a great respect for each other and a respect for our community. In a convention, Unity Convention years ago, I went to a workshop, and a presenter there gave us some, not rules, but some guidelines, I guess you could say, about why we come to unity. Why do we come here? And the first one was we come to be connected with the God of our being. But you see, we always are connected. So we come to be reminded of that connection, to renew that connection, to become ever more aware it was Eckhart Tolle who said that we need to be reminded and to be aware that this power we call God is in the background of our lives at all times. It's always there. Sometimes we say here that there isn't, there aren't many of us here. There's just one. Just one of us here. We all belong to this one. This is oneness. And it's interesting to know that there's nowhere you can go that you can get out of this oneness, out of this presence we call God. Okay, we know that, but then how do we connect with this power? The best way that I know is just to become still. I love to take a deep breath first, just to get myself in a quiet space with him. After I've done that, it just 
close my eyes. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that. Close my eyes and just be quiet. Just be there. <clears throat> I don't know, I imagine that many of you do that too. That you know how to connect. But we always say that we should do it, but we don't always know how. So the other day, I was out running errands. Isn't it interesting how we say running errands? We're running. Well, that's what I felt like. I had this long list of things to do. There wasn't, there couldn't have been enough hours in a day to get this done. And so how do we feel inside then? Unrest maybe? A bit stressful? I don't like that feeling. I had been to an appointment, <clears throat> came out, got in my car, and I said, oh, well, that's one down. And I noticed this feeling, this stressful feeling, I thought, mm -mm -mm, don't like this. So, okay, I talked to spirit. How often do you talk to spirit? You ever do that? Ever just say, okay, spirit, here I am, and I'm not feeling quite right. So, what are we going to do about this? Because it is a we thing, you know. What am I going to do? What are we going to do? And so I started to say, well, I need this, and I need that, and I need you to give me things. And it's like, wait a minute. You're always giving me wisdom and guidance. It's me that's closed. It's me that's not aware. I'm not open to this. So okay, I affirm my openness. Ah, oh, thank you. Well, I felt a little better. So I start off, and the ramp to 35W is only a short distance from this appointment. And I notice that the whole ramp is filled with cars. Oh, that's okay. We inch along and we get to the top of the ramp, I do, and I see that there is a highway person there with a big sign. And the sign said, slow. <laughs> I just started to laugh. Thank you, Spirit. That's exactly what I need to do. Slow down. You see, we often think life is a race. It's not a race. It's a journey. And we are here to learn the art of journeying. And part of that art is to quit. Just quit all this busyness. I know there are times when we need to get a lot of things done. That's fine. But please give yourself the time then to stop and to rest. Because it makes everything better after that. So yes, we come here to connect, to learn how to connect with the God of our being. The second thing this woman gave us was that we come to connect with each other. Well, we know that we are always connected with each other. With everyone on this planet, we are connected spiritually. Again, we say, there's not many of us here, there's one of us here. And we are all together in this oneness. Do you know what a hard concept that is for us to grasp? Now, not in this room, because most of us know each other, and we like each other, and so we think, whoa, that's easy. But this is the practice here that we do. Because when we go out in the world, we find it's not quite that easy. It's not quite that easy to see the perfection and the beauty in every person. Is it? No, it's not. We look out into the world and we see that it's almost impossible. Every time in a membership class there is a question that is raised because we talk about this, we talk about what a challenge it is, and somebody invariably asks the question, well now wait a minute, there has to be exceptions to this, there is not this perfection in everybody, there is not the God in everybody. How about Hitler? And he's always the one that is brought up. 
I said, so what about him? Well, he was a terrible man. Well, yeah, he did terrible things. In fact, man's inhumanity to man is sometimes so horrendous, you don't even want to talk about it. And his orders to kill thousands and thousands of innocent people is beyond something that we, want, we don't even want to think about it. Well, what about him? Does he have the God within him? Did he? Yes, of course. We have to separate the behavior from the person. And that is the hardest thing for us to do. Because we look, we see the behavior, and then the whole thing is labeled evil. Yeah, I say that too. <clears throat> because this is something that we need to practice on. If we are going to be the way of love that Jesus told us to be, and he said, love your enemies, then I think we need to start practicing. We can do it here. It's easy. We can take it out into the world. We might find it a little harder. And we are going to be able to extend this to everyone in this world. So we come here to learn how to connect with those who are so different from us. And we can do it. The next thing she gave us was, oh, by the way, did I say these are the three C's? I didn't say that. She was going to talk to us about the three C's, and somebody raised their hand and said, oh, I know what they are. They are criticizing, complaining, and condemning. No, that's not it. She, <laughs> no, no, she gave us just the opposite of that. So, okay, we've got... Connecting with God of our being, we've got connecting with each other. Now, the, three, the third C is to come to learn how to have a can-do attitude. Every once in a while, I find myself saying, I can't. Really? You can't? You have God within you, and you're saying you can't. I think that's an insult. I can. Of course I can. With. You know that statement in the Bible, with God all things are possible? The key word is with. With this power. Things are possible for me. Now, I'm not going to go out and be somebody that I don't even want to be. I think there has to be a desire connected with this. I'm not going to go out and be an Olympic star. That, that isn't what I want. But what is it that we want? Those things are possible. I have a favorite affirmation. And affirmations, I want to also invite you to keep using them because they are powerful. And this one is one of my favorites. I know you've heard it before, but I'll say it again and again. I always start with the thank you spirit for giving me all the wisdom, all the strength, all the power, and all the time I need to do what is before me this day. Hallelujah and thank you. Now, don't ask me how that works because I don't know. I just know from personal experience it works. Even that time part. Suddenly time gets expanded. Two things can be expanded, time and money. We just need to know that. So time gets expanded for me, and I'm able to do what I need to do. Yay. Okay, so now I thought, well, three C's, that's good. I want to add a fourth C. And the fourth one is celebrate. We come here to celebrate, to celebrate the community, to celebrate who we are, that we are this way that is open to questions. That we are this way where people can come to explore. We are this way where we see no conflict with science and spirituality. Yippee! <laughs> you know how many ways are not open to that? We are unique. 
We are, truly. I think we also need to celebrate this unity movement that we are a part of, that it is a part of this big umbrella we call New Thought. Do you realize how unique that really is? It is an American way. American. And we should be proud that we have this way that is unique. I'm not saying that we're right and everybody's wrong. We never say that here. We never want that idea. But truly, we are unique and we are loving. This is a way of love. Love never needs to be defended. So don't ever defend this way. Just be proud that you are part of this way. I'm proud of our new members. I am so proud of all of you because you have already become involved. You have already taken on that commitment, and actually that's another C, isn't it? Commitment that many of us are afraid of. Well, maybe not many in this room, but many in this outside world are afraid to commit to something that is beyond themselves. But here, we see that there are people who have committed. I also want to say that there is something about giving to each other, something about being committed to that idea of giving. To me, that is one of the most rewarding and uplifting things we can do, to give of ourselves. So here we are, Friday night, and we're getting ready for this wonderful celebration for our new members. And I have to admit, there was a bit of scurrying around. But there were people who came to help that I was just so surprised I didn't expect to see them. And here they are saying, what can I do? Well, we had a lot of jobs to do. And so we ran into each other a few times, and we acted silly, and we laughed. And I found that there was such fun in doing this. It's a way of the heart. And when we go the way of the heart, we know we are truly alive. I was a little tired when I came on Friday night. I wasn't tired when I left. I was truly alive. And so I want to thank these new members. And I'd like all the rest of us to welcome them today and to even ask them, what are you doing here? What, what are you involved in? They'll tell you. They will tell you. I say again, I'm proud of these people. And I would like all of us to remember these four seats, that we come here to reconnect with the God of our being. We come here to reconnect with each other and to spread that to the whole world. We come here to learn how to have a can-do attitude, and we come here to celebrate. To celebrate this community, to celebrate ourselves and each other, and in that spirit, I say namaste. Thank you.